We haven't slept, we haven't eaten. We worried about our babies. But I cried all night. From being over here with them, I've never known them to go out in that wooded area, hoping that nobody took them. Braxton and Raya, if y'all. <sighs> Another day with authorities searching into the night, but still no signs of Braxton and Briar Williams. The pair, just five and six years old, was last seen playing outside of their west side home. Now, this was Sunday morning at 1130. The person you just heard from was those children's grandmother, just praying for their safe return. We're all praying for their safe return. We have team coverage for you this morning. Lana Harris has been speaking with neighbors and family, but we want to head out to Lewis Turner first. Now, Lou, you were out there throughout the morning as multiple agencies searched that area. Yeah, I had an opportunity yesterday to speak to a, a lot of neighbors uh, through the morning showing up and bringing their children out to the bus stop. And uh, that's the time of morning it is right now. We're already seeing the school buses getting going. We're set up here at uh, White House Baptist Church, which is a staging area for a lot of different agencies and, and locals to come out and uh, get ready and get going this morning for the search. And that, that'll start gathering here in the next hour or so. Uh, a banner uh, at, at the church saying Merry Christmas. And it's a reminder, I mean, this is right here at the holidays and what this family is going through. We, we spoke with JSO. In fact, the sheriff just yesterday giving a briefing saying the family is cooperating. In fact, uh, the father, Brian, was out uh, preparing a cookout on Sunday afternoon, right around 1130, getting ready for an afternoon cookout when uh, he said his children went missing. So emphasizing, JSO emphasizing the family is cooperating in this situation, but nonetheless, these children still missing right now. If uh, you're interested in coming out, in helping in the search, this would be the place to be around 9 o'clock this morning. I know a lot of folks plan on gathering here at the White House Baptist Church. Let's continue our team coverage now. Not far from here is, is the Paradise Village mobile home part, that neighborhood, and that's where Lana Harris is live for us this morning. Hello, Lana. Good morning and new this morning. We've noticed that there's no crime scene tape anymore where it was yesterday blocking off where Brian and Braxton live and there are no police cars stationed out here either, although they have been circling this neighborhood. But this search is still ongoing and JSO is following every tip they can get. In fact, if you remember that couple we spoke with that said that they saw a dark car speeding out of here very quickly with two kids in the back, they tell us that police have contacted them again because they want to talk to them, saying that that tip now has relevance to the case. So they're following that. But I do want you to get a uh, look at this video. It's an aerial video of the complex and you can see at the top of your screen all of those trees there and that giant body of water. It is really a massive search area that people are looking in right now. I went into the woods with a group of searchers yesterday and they were thick. There was clothing back there, bicycles back there. It was very wet, little areas of water, and then it opened it up into this huge plot of land that led into another set of trees. So search teams have been scouring the woods, ponds, empty trailers, under trailers, trash cans, cars. These kids really could be anywhere. And at this point, if they are off on their own, they've been alone for two nights. And you've got to imagine very hungry and thirsty and scared. We spoke with Brian and Braxton's grandparents who are heartbroken right now and we asked what do they think the kids are you know where do they think the kids are do they think they're in the woods what's their gut telling them and here's what they said I don't think they out there I just don't think they out there hoping that nobody took them I never thought this would happen to our family I always see it on TV you know always praying for those kids to re be returned home safely now it's in our backyard right now, so it's scary. Now, if you would like to help search again, you can go to the White House Baptist Church uh, today. They're going to check you in and you can get out here and help out with the search. The family is hoping anybody who can will come out and help them bring their babies home. Lou. Thank you, Lana. Yeah, that's where I am right now, and that's where we'll be as that uh, sign up continues through the morning. What you can do now, if you've got to get away from the TV, got to go to work, uh, continue uh, sharing on social media if you use Facebook. Get on there, share uh, the picture as, as often as possible. You get the, the, these babies need to be seen. They need to, uh, Their faces need to be out uh, all over the Internet uh, through social media, here on television as well. We'll continue to post the picture because ultimately at the end of the day, we just got to find these babies safe no matter what. Uh, we continue. We won't be going anywhere. This is the place to be uh, this morning as the search more or less expands right now. What is turning into, I mean, frankly, a head scratching, bizarre uh, situation this morning. From White House, Lewis Turner, First Coast News on your side. Back inside to you.